Good afternoon and welcome to my Friday ramblings. This uh, has been uh, an interesting week. Um, it started last Sunday with uh, a trip to Bruni Island. It was a beautiful day and uh, a wonderful kind of um, trip across. I enjoyed the travelling to the island and then uh, we got down to uh, Alona and celebrated Mass. Um, there was the usual culprits um, who were there. Um, family and uh, some lovely friends and uh, and a visitor as well so that was really lovely came home uh, to uh, go to um, D'Angelo's to uh, have a meal with uh, two of my brother priests and uh, that also was uh, something quite wonderful this week we farewelled two uh, older parishioners uh, people who've lived in the parish at uh, for some time but who have been in nursing homes for the recent time so uh, they haven't been as active as they were in the past, but they were two lovely people and it was uh, a fitting farewell to them and funeral masses both here at Kingston and at Snug. So uh, it was a, a time to celebrate and uh, rejoice in the story of their rising to new life. So the other things that have happened this week is that I've been to see the doctor and told that been told that um, I need to uh, change my diet both food and intake so um, that's going to be a bit challenging but um, that's on the horizon. At the same time um, the doctor suggested that I should have a bone density scan so um, I've only just arrived back from having that done just a few moments ago. This weekend we launch into uh, a, a new era of our, um, of our parish life. Um, in many cases it's not, it's just simply a slight change. We're, um, working with our lectors this weekend in a workshop. Sadly, um, quite a number have indicated they're not going to be able to be there, um, but we will uh, hopefully be able to provide another opportunity in the not too distant future to help them. The change is that we're not asking for volunteers anymore. We're actually inviting people to be part of a ministry. And while that may not sound uh, too much of a change, it's the beginning of what I hope might be a, uh, a slight culture change for the parish that we're talking about ministries rather than volunteers in order to just remind people of how significant and how important their role is in the life of our parish. We've also got uh, in on Monday um, I'll be making a trip to Launceston uh, with quite a number of other priests around the around from around the Archdiocese to celebrate the Silver Jubilee of one of our priests, Father Martin Owe, originally from Myanmar, um, but has been in uh, Australia now for some time, and he's the administrator of the West Tamer Parish. So we'll join with him and um, parishioners to celebrate this uh, important event for him and for uh, the church in Tasmania. So there's a few things coming up, a few things happening. Uh, in the last couple of days, we've had rehearsals with the young people for their depiction of the Stations of the Cross on Good Friday morning. I've also been a privy to uh, the young people who are preparing to uh, provide the music for our Sunday Mass this Sunday. The first Sunday of the month we've given the young people an opportunity to take control. So while they have some adult supervision, they're actually doing really brilliantly and um, and even though it's a, a slightly louder version of uh, our music, um, their playing skills are quite exceptional and so it's really wonderful to see a young fellow pushing in a double bass um, as he's uh, getting ready to assist at uh, our liturgy. So there's some of the highlights of this past week, uh, including just some ordinary things, some very simple things that uh, just take your breath away as you talk to people. I've also had the last of my kickstart coaching program. I've had my men's group from uh, America. We had our Lenten discussion group this morning. I had another group on Monday morning. So it's still rolling along quite nicely and neatly. So I'd like to hope that you've had a good week and that you also can have uh, a great weekend. And um, if the weather is anything like today, uh, it was much warmer than it was supposed to be and that was well worth it. So have, have a great weekend. Take care. Please stay safe and look forward to catching you next time on my Friday ramblings.